Um, hey, who do you like in the um, uh, Gaethje uh, Khabib fight? You know, it comes down to to execution. If if Gaethje can keep his feet in the center of that octagon and keep his back off of the fence, I think he has the credentials, the experience in wrestling to keep it on the feet. And we all know what he does uh, when he's throwing those overhands and he's brawling. Anybody can get hit with that. Those are the hard punches to to. You can't block all those. You can the, the one twos, the one two threes, the the good technique. That's for me. I think that's easier to to deal with than a guy throwing overhands and winging punches. You know that those angles and timing are different. So it's going to come down to execution. Who can execute that game plan? If Khabib can bully him against the fence, he's going to win the fight. If Gaethje can keep it in the middle of that octagon, I think he's going to win. And you know Gaethje. what, Gaethje? I'm sorry, Ken. Go ahead. Um, no, I was just going to say to add to what Dustin's saying here. I I always say, Dustin, in commentating for 24 years on ESPN, the, the fights, I always would say it's about geography. Who controls the geography of the ring or the octopus? Real estate. Real estate, baby. <laughs> yeah. and, and it's no dollars for them. It's, it's punches. You know, <laughs> three punches per square foot. And there, um, we go. there it is. Expensive, you know. Uh, yeah. it, it hurts a little. And so it's all about the geography. Who can control the be where they need to be? Location, location, location. And to that point, and that's what this fight comes to. Again, I think probably every fight comes to that to a great extent. Um it also Gagey showed a dimension in his fight with Ferguson where he showed a discipline that he's going to need, that, that he showed me. that like He could have been prone, as you just pointed out pretty well, with the big punches to engage, but he didn't. He allowed Ferguson, who's a very aggressive guy, a little reckless sometimes, to engage first and use his reckless aggression against him. The Matador. The Matador. Gaethje has an extensive wrestling background, and taking yourself out of the equation, do you think that Gaethje might be the better rest, the best wrestler that um, that Khabib has faced? Uh, as far as wrestling accomplishments, Gaethje's by far a better wrestler than I, I am I, uh, on paper. You know, I didn't wrestle in high school and college. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. He's probably the most decorated wrestler Khabib's fought. Yeah. That adds an interesting an interesting element because I'd say based on what we've seen and correct correct me if I'm wrong I think just on paper Gaethje looks to be a better striker if he can nullify some of Khabib's wrestling because Khabib looks to be the one of the best wrestlers in the sport that makes for a really interesting fight I think people I don't think the fight's getting as much hype as it deserves mainly because neither one of them is a big trash talker but I think in terms of competitiveness. This fight is awesome. I mean, I get excited. Teddy will tell you for every fight, but this one is so. This is a good fight. Yeah, it it is. I'm excited to watch it, especially because it's in my division, and and the guy has the interim belt. I just I just made that walk against the same guy. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I'm excited about it. I'm expecting it to do really well on pay per view. It's a great matchup. But one thing we we didn't talk about just now, he has the credentials of sport wrestling, right? But in, in, in wrestling, in collegiate wrestling, there's no fence. And that's yep. where it could be Maul's guys and uses his feet like hands and, and, and his balance is so, you know, I've never felt any, anyone like that in training before, um, the way it could be felt against that fence. And we'll see if Gaethje's prepared for that. 